Hello everybody, welcome to another watercolor tutorial. We're going to be painting these uh, really dramatic flowers. Um, they can be whatever type of flower that you want. They kind of look like poppies to me. But the first thing that you want to do is just roughly sketch out your flowers. So I have drawn with a pencil the stems of the flowers, with uh, some with buds, and some ending with the actual flowers. And um, the overlapping components and the little shapes here don't matter too much, so you can just pause this video and quickly draw out what you see in front of you here. Uh, or you can just look up pictures of whatever flowers that you want to paint and then apply the same technique to those shapes. But once you've done that, uh, we're going to start off with painting the actual um, open flowers just because they're higher up and it's easier uh, to do that. Also, I'm not very patient, so if we painted the stems first, uh, we'd have to wait too long for it to dry. So, I'm just taking my size 14 Grumbacher uh, brush here, linked in the description as always, and I'm just taking some maroon colors mixed with red. And I'm just applying it on the first part of my flower. So I'm just painting the top one up here first. And we're going to be applying quite a bit of uh, color and then dragging some color off as well, uh, just to create the effect that we want okay if you go outside of your pencil marks. I'm just rinsing my brush here a little bit so I can add more water and less pigment on this side and then we can already start grading our colors here. So I'm gonna add a little bit of black just on the right side over here. And this is what's gonna start creating that really dramatic look that we are trying to achieve with this particular flower painting. If you have cotton paper, you can simply just dab the black on and it will naturally spread over. But if you don't have cotton paper, you might have to help it along a little bit. Now we need this section to dry before we can do the other sections. Um, so I'm just going to quickly move on to uh, our second open flower. And this one is, uh, you can't really see it here, I should have drew um, kind of something like that with the pencil. It's kind of an open hole here. Um, so we want the center to be quite black and then this will all be a lighter uh, red color. And you can take your black, just put it in the center. And it might start overtaking all of the surrounding uh, watercolor there, so you can just rinse your brush on a paper towel and start lifting off that black. And just re-adding some of the red. Okay, so once these sections are mostly dry, we can start painting on the outer sections. Um, so here we are just going to again paint them in that same blend of maroon and red. It's okay if you don't have the exact same uh, color, it's not really that important. I'm just letting you know what I am using, but Wait, the colors that you have might be even better, so don't get too caught up on that. Uh, but I am using a smaller brush here just so I can um, 
be a little bit more detailed and precise with my brush strokes since we're uh, really close to this section and for me it's probably not completely dry yet because I'm not patient enough to wait uh, wait that long but um, what we're going to be doing is once we we fill in this section with the red watercolor um, we're going to be taking black and creating um, some highlights uh, or low lights and I'll show you in a moment what we are going to do exactly. Okay, so now we are going to add just like we did in the initial petals, we're going to add black highlights just on the rim um, or the, the section that is closest to the flower, the first flower that we painted. And this is because we want to create the illusion of this shadow. It appears that mine has already begun to dry so perhaps don't do both petals at once like I did or both of these sections do them separately so that the black can spread really naturally I just flipped my uh, piece of paper upside down and I'm just doing the second flower petals. I'm going to show you this one more time a little bit up close. So again, we are just covering our flower petal with our red mixture, like so. And then we are adding our black highlights just coming from uh, the, the portion of the petal closest to our main section here because we want to create the illusion of shadow. Okay, when your main open flowers are dry, we can start painting the stems and the little buds. So um, I'm just using black watercolor and a liner brush. Uh, and you can probably water your black watercolor down quite a bit and it will be easier to drag out. But we're just attaching this to the flower. And then the few that are just um, kind of sprouting into delicate buds. You can take some dark blue watercolor. Mix it with the black. And then just paint this gentle little um, egg shape or oval shape to uh, make it look like there's a little bud sprouting there.
and finally with our little bud. And that's about it. That is our dramatic flower painting. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and I will see you in next week's tutorial.